Hello, and welcome to another production from the Technology Training Team, a department of Prince George's County Public Schools IT Division. Today, we're going to show students how to access PGCPS Zoom on an iPad. Zoom is the video conferencing service officially supported by Prince George's County Public Schools for distance learning. Zoom allows teachers to interact directly over live video with an entire classroom of students at once. If you are using a PGCPS-issued iPad, you should not need to install any additional software to begin using Zoom. To learn more about setting up your PGCPS iPad, please see the associated video. Okay, let's get started. There are two ways to access a Zoom meeting. The first is with a link. The link is generally provided by the teacher in Google Classroom. First, open Google Classroom. To learn more about Google Classroom, be sure to check out our video tutorials. Tap on the class, tap the classwork tab, tap the classwork resource. If the teacher has provided a passcode, take note of it, you might need it later. Tap the link. There may be a situation when the teacher provides a meeting ID and passcode rather than a link. If that is the case, once you have the information, tap the Zoom icon on the iPad home screen. Tap Join a Meeting. Enter the meeting ID provided by the teacher. Change the default device name to the student's full name. Tap Join. Regardless of whether you used a link or a meeting ID, if you are logging in for the first time today, you must log in using the student username and password. When you see the Please Register pop-up window, tap OK. Enter your student username and password. This is the same username and password you use to log in to all PGCPS services and applications. To learn more about student passwords, or if you need to reset your password, please see the associated video. Once you have entered your username and password, click Sign In. If prompted to do so, enter the Zoom passcode that the teacher provided for the meeting. Tap Continue. The first time you launch Zoom, you may see several pop-ups. Tap OK to allow Zoom to use the iPad's microphone. Tap Allow to allow the Zoom app to add notifications. You are taken to the waiting room. The teacher will grant you access to the meeting when they are ready to begin class. Once you are in the meeting, a pop-up appears. Tap Call using Internet Audio so that you can hear the teacher speak. By default, both video and audio are disabled for students. If you have been given permission to enable one or both of these features, Tap the screen to see the menu. Tap the camera icon to turn the video function on or off. The first time you do this, you must tap OK to grant Zoom permission to use the iPad camera. Tap the microphone icon to enable or mute audio. To type a message, tap More. Then tap Chat. Type your message then tap Send. Keep in mind that anyone in the meeting can see the message. Tap Close to return to the video screen. There may be times when your teacher may ask you for a simple emoji response. Tap More, then tap the emoji. It appears in your video window. To view all participants in a grid, tap the screen, then tap Switch to Gallery View. To return to the previous view, tap the screen again, then tap Switch to Active Speaker. When the class is over, tap the screen, tap Leave, then tap Leave Meeting. And that's how to use Zoom on an iPad. This has been another production from the Technology Training Team with assistance from the Translation Office. Thanks for watching.